I'm sure we've all been in a situation where we actually want to go through and show a, uh, an image to our clients that has a very, very unique crop to it. But when we go into our select size view, it always shows us in the standard uh, print size or our standard paper sizes. Well, in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to resolve that issue. Well, first of all, let's go through and we're going to go ahead and use our crop tool. We're going to select our scissors here on our toolbar. We're going to click the crop tool and we're going to go ahead and add a crop. In this particular case, I want to take and not use one of the standard snap to crops. I actually want to use a, a completely unique crop. So in order to do that, I'm going to hold my Alt or Option key. Then I'm going to grab the corner. And what that allows me to do is I can move my crop ratio to whatever I want. I'm no longer snapping in. This bypasses that snap mode by holding that Alt or Option key on our keyboard. Once I've got my image cropped the way I want it, we're going to go ahead and go back to our show image view, the eyeball view, and just simply click on that. That shows our finished crop. Well, what happens by default is when I go to my select size view and want to show this image, we'll click our ruler here, the select size view, and that now shows our image there. You can see I've already got a frame placed around that, but that's clearly not what we had in mind. It's displaying this particular image in a 20 by 24. Well, what I want to do here is I want to be able to show that whole image. Show So in order to do that, what we're going to do is go back over here to our plus and minus keys on our uh, toolbars here, show light, larger size, and I'm going to right click. From there you can see I've got an option right here at the top where it says crop to print size, and that's checked. All I have to do is click that, and now what I've got is I now have an image that's cropped correctly. So when I use the up and down arrow keys on my keyboard, I can actually go through and I can show it all different sizes and the crop is going to stay exactly the same. What it's going to do is it's going to crop my image to the longest dimension. So in this case you can see it's got a 50. It works out to a 16.4 inch image by 50. Tap my down arrow key here, goes down to a 14.8 by 45, down to a 40 inch image. And again our cropping mode is staying in place by simply using the command over here crop to print size. To reset it back to my standard working mode, all I have to do is right click on there, open up this dialog, go ahead and click that again, and that reverts it back to my normal crop view. This is our ProSelect Quick Tip video for today. I'm Ron Nichols.